What up, though? I'm Jalen Rose back on the block in step with stars, dropping a new series that's particularly close to home for me. BML, Black Mafia Family, about two notorious kingpins that I know extremely well. Demetrius Big Meach Flannery, Terry Southwest T. Changed the game in the 80s and the 90s as they rose to become one of the most influential crime families in the country. We'll be like the motherfucking Italian mob, man. I was born and raised on the northwest side of Detroit. In the 70s, Detroit had around 2 million people. In 2021, 600,000. So what changed? It started in the 80s when crack and drugs and cocaine infested the black community. And it created something that divided families, caused killings, but it also created a way out financially struggling to pay the light bill, can't pay the gas bill. I lived that life. There became a fork in the road. The square or the righteous, or you want to hustle for a living. And so many young people decided, I'm going to take this street life route. I was an athlete. At that time, Cooley was the school of choice for basketball players. But my mother said, you ain't going to school in this neighborhood. I see what's happening in this neighborhood. But what she didn't see is Southwest Detroit was worse. And that's where I went to high school. As I started to hang out in Southwest Detroit, I started to learn about the 50 Boys. The 50 Boys went on to become BMF, Black Mafia family. While Southwest T and Big Meech was trying to figure out how they were going to make a name for themselves, Antoine Jobert, the judge, who was making a name for Southwest Detroit, the state of Michigan, and for himself. I was born and raised in Detroit, played at Detroit Southwestern, went to the University of Michigan. I won the NIT championship, two Big Tens, and appeared in three NCAA tournaments. Just because we play basketball don't mean we're not together with the Flannery brothers. They respect and love us. We respect and love them. What was it like playing ball oh, and they're at the games to man. support you? It was big. You going to give you all. And if somebody bothers us, they going to get them. Jalen was the greatest player in Michigan, the greatest player in the country, coming out of Southwest and winning the state title and anything he need, the, they could give it to him. Who's that? <laughs> the Flannery Brothers. I got on some busted gym shoes. All of a sudden, I got some new kicks. Southwestern wins a game. I'm out at the club. Oh, they making sure I'm good. Meese do it big, and he get mad if you try to spend a little money. Oh, yeah. no, oh, dog. <laughs> he went off on me in Atlanta. See? I was on the sideline. He had like 150 bottles of crystal. Right. I was over here to the waitress, like, I got you, you know what I'm saying? Right. He's like, dog, if you don't, right. like, my bad, OG. <laughs> My name is Anderson Hunt, probably known from being the MVP at UNLV and winning the championship. Jalen, BMF, and I all came up in Southwest Detroit. BMF, they took it to a whole nother level as far as the streets, and Jay and I took it to a whole nother level as far as basketball. So Anderson Hunt, UNLV running Rebels, Final Four MVP. I'm going to the University of Michigan. We got these future kingpins coming up. Tell them what it was like. Front row at the fights. Oh yeah, that's Evander Holyfield, I think. Yeah, going to Vegas to buy furs. In fact, we was having a coaching clinic. Meach and Terry was out there. So I'm like, man, y'all come on. They way up in the stands. So I'm like, y'all come on down. Tark, he got on the mic. He said, Anderson, who is these guys? So I'm like, coach, these are my homeboys from the hood. We grew up together. So Tark say, who are these guys, insurance, man? <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, coach, they're yeah, insurance, coach. man. Yeah, they're selling insurance. <laughs> When did you start to see that T and Meech was taking this thing to a whole nother level? Like 90, 91, once they moved to Atlanta, they blew up. I was in Atlanta. I was at the Meech in the Jungle Party. We had the animals in there. There was like a thousand crystal bottles. It was crazy. The 50 boys, I can't blame them, you know, because we want to get out the hood and, and we want to make the hood better. And they good guys. Certain people do it for one reason, certain people do it for another reason, and they did it for the good reason. No question, like, you yes. hustled in the street, but you still took care of the community. We're not necessarily here to glorify any negativity. This was, if you want to get down with us, you want to break bread with us, come on. If you don't want this lifestyle, you take that route and you keep doing what you doing. And I always appreciated and respected that. We put on for one another. We give back to each other. Meech and Terry from 
educators, to friends, to family. They like, here, here, here. You want something to eat? You want something to drink? You want your rent paid? I try to give back. I do camps out here for kids. What you do to help in your community is a legend that you leave. I wouldn't have grew up in no other place in the world. Detroiters will tell you, I'm 10 toes down, I'll live here forever. Good, bad, or indifferent. That's the kind of pride we have in our city.